This is Ryan Pierce, host of Completely Serious. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. I'm the Greg. And I am Dave Show. We host the Greg and Dave Show on Public House Media. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. Once you're done with this episode, I hope you'll come check out our show, The Greg and Dave Show, where we talk about strange, bizarre, and sometimes just downright quirky news stories that you may not have heard about. A new show comes out every Wednesday. Be sure to subscribe on iTunes. And hey, thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. Throughout history, the course of sports has been shaped by one thing, the fans. From the moments you never dreamed of. To the moments that still give you nightmares. Behind the band. Super Bowl! Brady has his fifth! Through the good and the bad, fans have helped change the games we watch and the players we love. They may not be the most logical people. You are a factory of sadness! I'll see you Sunday. But they know their teams better than anybody. They'll blow in the ninth. You may not always see them, but you know where to find them. After all, there's nothing quite like the view from the cheap seats. Broadcasting as part of the Public House Media Network. Grab a chair and enjoy all there is in the, the cheap, cheap seats. And as always, welcome up into the cheap seats. Matt Coyne, Jake Holmes. Jake, how are you doing on this fine Friday? Man, I, I I'm doing pretty well. How are you today, buddy? I'm doing good. I can't I can't complain. I it's I, I, I'm excited. I'm excited for this show. I think we potentially could have the most debate, the most debated topic in the history of the Friday show. Yeah, I mean, we were we were talking a lot about it, and the thing is, it, I mean, well, I don't want to ruin too much, you know. What I mean, but um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm I'm excited. We've got we've got a really good show. I th- I think. I, I think, hope. Of course, yeah. that's you and I. You know, I mean, yeah. you and I are talking about. I think we got a pretty good show for you. Today. Yeah, yeah, and as always, we are presented by Squadcast.fm here on the Public House Media, which, by the way, Jake, Public House Media this past uh, week just celebrated one year, so happy birthday to Public House Media. Uh, obviously, if it wasn't for them, you and I would not have the opportunity to um, talk about sports on Friday and be able to uh, uh, show how little we know about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. I, I, yeah. What was it? Tuesday, I think. Yeah, yep. uh, Tuesday, Tuesday. Yeah, happy birthday to uh, you know the the, um, you know this this awesome you know organization company um you know that um you know that does allow us to do this and we're we're so kind to you know bring me along um after mm-hmm. just a few after a few visits to you and Baxter on Fridays. Um, it's been a lot of fun these last couple months, and uh, I'm looking forward to many more. Yes. Uh, yeah, I agree. Had... Yeah, it's uh, well. You can always listen to uh, us along with uh, the Monday and the Wednesday edition of this show. Any other uh, public health media uh, broadcast on iTunes, Google Podcasts, and more. Jake, we this past week are on Spotify now. The cheap seats. Uh, you can go on Spotify uh, and find our podcast on there, which is awesome news. Uh, and you can go on the phmedia.com. Uh, visit us uh, or like us on our Facebook page and see our daily poll question. Uh, Mondays, as always, with Christian and Jonathan. Wednesdays with Max and Keith. And then, as always, on Friday with Jake and me, Matt Coyne. So, Jake, this, you know, football is, is, a, is, is here. But baseball is still a big deal. And... One of my favorite, if not my favorite times of the year, is the Little League World Series, which is going on right now in Williamsburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, Jake, the, the, I don't know about you. Would, do, do you do you agree with me on that? Little League World Series, one of the best uh, sporting events of the year. 
Well, I mean, it, it it brings excitement to the last two weeks of August, which nobody likes. Yes, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's not really too much good that happens in in, in late August. But um, from somebody that's from Williamsport, born and raised there, um, it's it, it's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, it's what I remember so many times, and I mean, I have a different outlook on it than you know most people because you know because I mean. I, I mean, I'm from there. Like, that's where I grew up. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and, and we, uh, you know, I remember so many, every year, it was, I mean, it was like clockwork. You know, my mom took, uh, you know, took me out to the Light Coming Mall for, you know, school shopping. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then uh, we, then on the way back, because the Light Coming Mall is in Muncie, on the way back to, uh, on the way back home, on the way back north, we hit the Little League World Series in South Williamsport, hit up Lomity and Volunteer Stadium, and then hit the Pizza Hut on the in, on the uh, Loyal Sox Strip, uh, the the Golden Strip. Um, it was every year. I mean, it was every year, and it's 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 really cool. And seeing these kids go out there and play, uh, you know, just for the love of the game, is so cool. And um, real quick, I just want to sorry, I know that no, we're no, talking that's about fine. this year, but um, this is this is something that gets me pretty nostalgic, you know. Um, is that I think it was it was one of my last years living the the town I'm from is called Canton by the mm-hmm. way it's just a little bit north of Williamsport. Um, one of my last years living at home, um, there was a team from Clinton County, uh, which is just south. Yeah, of Tom's Run. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just just south uh, of of Williamsport, and I remember going to those games, and it was literally like it was like a college atmosphere. Like people like had. Like there were thirty thousand people at a little league game, you know. I mean, they're yeah, they're from like Lock Haven area, only fifteen miles south of Williamsport, and they made it to the Little League World Series. It was unlike anything I ever saw yeah. in my life. Yeah, um, and well, you know, and this year was rallying around. Yeah, and it was cool because Todd Frazier was re- reunited with that team, I believe, this year. Uh, if if maybe I'm mis- mistaken, the uh, the same teams, but I I know he was there this year with the Mets. Uh, and and all that, and they were all reunited. How would Jake? How would you feel if you're on that team? You know, you're doing your everyday thing, and you were playing with Todd Frazier, who's now in the major leagues. Who's you know consider? I mean, he's 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 no he's no slouch. Yeah, I mean the Todd father. You know, I mean it. it I saw that. That's that's really. I mean that's that's really cool that he was you know reunited with mm-hmm. you know with with his old squad. Um, but yeah, I mean just think. Like you grew up with this kid who just happens to be Todd Frazier, who's a home run derby champion. You know yeah, what I mean, yeah. Um, you know, so, so yeah. I mean, it, it is it, those, those that stuff is really cool to see. And um, yeah, I couldn't I couldn't even imagine like growing up with somebody that's like that good at something. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Well, well, Jake. Uh, one of the things with the you know ESPN uh, airing all or a lot of these games and giving these kids a, a great just thing to always look back on in life. One of my favorite things is how they're introducing players. And I got a few sound bites uh, for, for you all today. These are a few of our favorites. Uh, I'm just going to play. Here's the first one from a Little Leaguer uh, in the Little League World Series. Hi, my name is Max Willett, and I'm better than Cam Isaac at Fortnite. <laughs> so the Fortnite, the Fortnite thing is just huge right now, Jake. I love the kid in the background going, "Not true." I just, I just think it's so cool. I think <laughs> I love that they let these kids be kids. Um, I, I, that's um, we're gonna get up to my favorite ones, but here's the second one that I really enjoyed. I got to get a laugh out of. I'm Jack Ball, and I like peel potatoes. Like this kid, he likes to peel potatoes, Jake. I, I, I don't. Uh, what kind of a life is this? I mean, I, I don't understand. <laughs> Is is he joking or is he serious? Uh you know, I mean, it, it, it sounds like he's serious. I mean, yeah, you know, it, it it sounds like he's serious. I mean, it's I mean, yeah, I mean, it may be a good stress reliever. I don't know, you know, how much stress a thirteen year old has, but yeah, it's, um, well, for sure, yeah. I mean, hey, you know, to each is. I mean, remember uh, you see Yokinen, you know, he he like er, the potatoes, the potatoes. I remember that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I farm the potatoes. Okay. Anyways, so here's here's the third one for you. This is a gift, or this is a birth certificate check right here. Hi, right, my name is Stephen Wade, and they call me Stash. Okay. At the age of twelve, Jake, I did not have a voice that deep, and I did not have a mustache. I mean, do you think this is birth certificate check, or is this just what our society has come to? 
Well, a kid that I, I I'll tell you, I'm I'm right there with you. I didn't have I I didn't have a mustache and I didn't have a low voice at 12. But um, a kid that I played Little League with, ironically enough, his name was Derek Wilcox. This kid had a straight caterpillar on his upper lip when he was 10. Yeah, that's... Uh, so, wow. so I do... Um, I, I, he might be one of those rare exceptions like Derek was. Um, but, uh, but yeah, yeah, I, I know what you mean. It's a little funny. Yeah. yeah. All right. And, and the best one, the one that is taking to the night, to the late night shows, to the news, to everything... This kid has. If you don't love this kid, then something's just wrong with you. He. I want to just be this kid's friend. Here he is, the last one. Hi, my name's Alfred Delia. At home, they call me Big Al, and I hit dingers. I just love that every time. <laughs> I hit dingers. I that kid. I, I just gotta play it again. I'm sorry. One more time. Hi, my name's Alfred Delia. Big Al. At home, they call me Big Al, and I hit dingers. I mean, th- this kid is- and Jake. Have you seen that kid hit? He can rake. Yeah, the young lad can rake. <laughs> I tell yeah, you, it's- <laughs> wow. He's got an unconventional swing too. Yeah, like I mean, like it, like it's it's pretty much all arms. I mean, that's that's <laughs> that's what's funny. Yeah, um, but no, I mean, good, you know, good good for him. He, it, I love his voice too. Like, yeah. like he sounds like he just got done smoking a whole yeah. pack. You know? <laughs> like he's like, my name is Big Al. I hit dingers. Like, <laughs> yeah. like. <laughs> I, I, it's great i i love it i love that they do that uh so you know they are getting down to, getting down to it now they the um international game is um set the u.s champion uh chip game is uh, gonna be set on or no it'll be set um uh let's see actually no it was set last yeah it was set last night so we're getting down to the final two here uh between the u.s international so we'll see what happens here uh with uh the little league world series uh stay with jake and myself when we come back we will uh be staying in baseball we've been a lot of football heavy but we're gonna uh go into uh stay in some baseball but go over the major leagues so stay with Jake and me here in the cheap seats. And welcome back to the cheap seats, Matt Coin, Jake Holmes. For you listeners, I'm not going to tell you why I'm playing these songs going out and coming in. I'm going to keep that a surprise until our next to last segment. I know Jake is jumping up and down in his seat waiting for that last segment, (laughs) but I'm not going to tell you. Uh, So, Jake, uh, baseball, uh, we are getting down to it. We are within, well, about 40-ish games uh, left. And so... First of all, before we get into this, Jake, the difference between the American League and the National League is just <laughs> mind-boggling. Like, the American League, they might as well just stop playing. And in the National League, you still have a lot of teams. I mean, seriously, you have your five... I feel like you have your five playoff teams set pretty pretty straightforward in the in the American League. Yeah, no, I I know I definitely agree with you. I mean, it's going to be Boston, it's going to be New York. Of course, we've been talking about it since freaking April. Yeah, you know, what I mean, I mean, it, that we we all figured that, but I did not see Boston come through with ninety wins no. by September first. Nope. I mean, come on, this is unbelievable. I mean, they're, they're they're so good, and like you know, just just recently, uh, what was it? Um, their their early week series, they played uh, the Cleveland Indians. Yeah, I mean, rocked them on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. I mean, seven nothing, and I mean they're 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 so good, and they can beat you more than one way. I mean, they can put up. I mean, they can put up ten runs, um, but they've got the pitching to be able to just shut you down. Um, you know, Boston, uh, it's it's crazy how good they are, and then then of course you know Cleveland in the Central. I mean, nobody's nobody's touched no. them. I mean, I think that they've had the lead since you know since the end of March. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, you know, they, you know, they got out to one and oh, and this is just a wrap from there. But, um, the one team I'm surprised with, man, and I, I'm pretty sure you are too, is the Oakland days, man. Yeah. Yeah. I well, and we, see that coming. S- since we've been talking, we, you know, that's been a big surprise for us, them and the Mariners. Uh, but you know, uh, the athletics looks like the, or the A's how to each their own. But I mean, you definitely have Houston, 
it, you know, Cleveland, Boston. Uh, I mean, the A's are, are like game or so out of first place. I can't yeah. believe that they're staying in this. But, uh, I mean, the American League is just so boring when it comes to that. Uh, and then you, you look at the, you know, you look at the batting average. You got, you got uh, Mookie Betts. You got JD, JD Martinez, uh, both above 330. Uh, JD Martinez uh, is lead or is right there with you know one two and the home runs he's runs batted in. Uh, they have Chris Sale is leading with ERA. Uh, Mookie Betts' is WAR is seven point three, which I mean that's right there with a few other ones. But the highest in the NL is four nine and with WAR, and I know not everybody understands that, so we won't go into it. But it is just amazing. Uh, what Boston is doing. I, I knew they were going to be good this year, Jake, but I did not see them being this good. I mean, they're on a historic tear. I mean, I mean, really, you know, we've got, we've got about 40 games left. Like you said, mm-hmm. I mean, they go 500. They, they win 110. Yeah. You know I mean? I mean, it's, it, they're, they're, they're crazy. They're crazy good. Mm-hmm. Well, um, the, and that, and I mean, the middle of their order is just ridiculous. Too, and that's what they were way. talking. I, I believe it was the boys on the Monday show a few weeks back. Uh, maybe it was Wednesday show. I, forgive me, guys, but uh, they were talking about are they going to pass the Mariners at one sixteen? And I, I, I think that's it's not it's not impossible. I mean, I think it'll be it's it's still going to be a hard feat to do. Uh, but they're right there. There's no reason why they can't do it. I mean, they would have. To, I mean, they would have to go on a stri- on a stretch where they won five or six. But I mean, that wouldn't surprise me at all. No. You know, I mean, with what they have, I mean. You know their their rotation is fantastic, especially one through three, um, and and you know they have the offense to boot. I would not be surprised if they went something like twenty twenty six and fourteen down the stretch. I just I, I wouldn't. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So the 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 AL is uh, very decided. Uh, going over the National League. Uh, before we get into the standings, Jake, I I know I'm I I just go all over the place, but I need your honest y- y- your opinion. How this is possible, and I'm being dead serious. You might not have not even known this. Do you know who is leading the NL in home runs? Oh, uh, that's no. how I would answer. Is it Ronald Acuna? No, it it, it uh, is not. It is, are, it, and it's not even like he's winning it by one or two. As I look at this, he is winning by about five. Matt Carpenter. How um, you know what that you know what's crazy? I'm not I'm 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 not surprised because last week when they were playing the Pirates, he went like he had home runs I think in six straight. But how how I mean don't get, I'm I not have no idea. I'm not putting any getting anything away from him. He's always been a solid player. I've always enjoyed watching him play. He's one of those players that for the most part just stay quiet, plays the game, and those are the players that you know they can just sneak up on you. But he's never been known as a power hitter. <laughs> yeah, no, I. And what's crazy is his recent stretch. Now that you say that, it, it jogs my memory a little bit. His recent stretch uh, of like just raking has resulted in the Cardinals only being two and a half out of the first place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, I mean, and I mean, he's he's fantastic. I mean, Matt Carpenter's fantastic, but the Cardinals aren't. It's well, just it's just amazing what he what he's done like mm-hmm. recently that's just catapulted that team into something that they aren't. <laughs> well, and, I mean? and let's talk about that because Jake just this past week they made a uh, they made a trade to you, you know they sold at the deadline and now all of a sudden they're two and a half games uh, two you know a couple games out of first place behind the Cubs they've already passed the Brewers. But they sold at the deadline. Now, are, is their front office saying, "Whoa, whoa, whoa"? Is this why they made this trade? Do you? Th- I mean, obviously, we're getting late enough in the season. Yes, this is a legit chance that they're going to make the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, and he, like you said, I mean, it's just the National League is such a. Like, I don't even know the word to to explain it. I mean, you have like seven teams that are fighting for two wild card spots. Yeah. No more than that. Probably it's closer to eight. Yeah, eight or nine. I mean. So, um, I mean, there's only probably I, there's only five teams that are pretty much out of it, and the Pirates are one of them. But anyways, <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, the Cardinals are. The, I mean, the the Cardinals. I I I don't I don't know because it's so funny because they aren't that good. Yeah, they they they, they really aren't. They don't have a whole ton of talent. They got. I mean, you know, the revocable uh, waiver trade. You know, 
whatever you, whatever the you know um to get Matt Adams back mm-hmm. um from the Nationals I mean I mean that that's going to I mean that might help I mean that might help, help a little bit but I mean they got rid of Tommy Pham I mean they sold him yeah I mean they they got they, they like you said they sold at the deadline I have no idea what that front office is thinking right now like uh, this wasn't supposed to happen. I, 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 I don't know. It's, it's, it's crazy. Watching St. Louis play right now is just unbelievable to me. They're, yeah. they're like one, eight of their last like 10 or something crazy. I, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, well, it, and it's crazy cause they've knocked Milwaukee out of a, out of a wild card, which Jake, by the way, I haven't told you, so I'm going to tell you on air. Uh, I got uh, handed, Four tickets to this Sunday's Milwaukee first Pittsburgh game. Eleven rows behind the on deck circle of the Pirates. I'm pretty excited Ooh. about that. I, even though they they've they've now, I would love to go back and listen to our shows the last few week or our last few months and listen to how our roller coaster. But for those of you who don't know, that's what a Pirates fan does every year. It's a roller coaster. They, they go on that what was that eleven game winning streak. Everybody's they. They get Chris Archer. They do all this, and now they the, in the last. Uh, Jake, I, I I went through the last few games. Other than the one game that they gave up six runs against, they've given up their last few games two six one 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 <laughs> the last yeah. few games, and they've lost all but two of them. It, it, it is amazing that this team who is so offensive heavy cannot score a run worth anything yeah and i mean i i can't i can't explain it either i i mean it's 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 so funny i was on the pirates twitter i was just i was on twitter last night or the night before or something and it said we lose two to one dot 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 we know no need to say anything more. <laughs> they can't hit the ball they can't yeah. do anything mark i mean that's what worried me a month ago. I thought it would be okay, but Polanco is such a is such a streaky player, you know. And it's like Gregory Polanco is one of the more gifted baseball players in in baseball, but he's not at the upper echelon because he's so streaky. And the, and the thing with Starling Marte is you're going, you know, what you're going to get with Marte. I mean, he's a guy that's been suspended eighty games for PEDs. You know, he's not. You know, he's he's. I, I don't want to say that he's a bad person or anything. I'm not saying that. Mm-hmm. But what I'm saying is that he's not a guy that's always going to try the hardest. You know what I mean? And he got benched because he didn't try recently. So, I mean, I, I look at that, and, I mean, you do have players like Dickerson and, and, and Josh Harrison. Say what you want about the guy. He's probably not going to be a pirate next year. But dude's a gamer. Like, yeah. I mean, he, he always plays so hard, and that's why I like Josh Harrison. But, um... But yeah, I mean it's it, it's it's wild. They just cannot hit the ball. This is getting out of control. Actually, I saw um, a stat today from Matt Geica, who who actually just had his last assignment with Pirates prospects. Um, Matt's a really good guy. Um, mm-hmm. I, I really like Matt. Um, he uh, he actually released a stat that Trevor Williams in each of his last starts, ten starts, hasn't had more than one. Uh, hasn't had more than one run of support. Oh wow! Um, in his last ten starts, it's mind- wow, wow. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, that's last ten starts. Yeah, that's so. Uh, obviously, you know, on this Friday show, we're going to go off on the Pirates, <laughs> but you know, we still. I mean, the National League, and I'm not trying to be optimistic, but I mean, you do have, you know, in the Pirates, they get hot at the right time. The other teams get. Um, you know, slow down, go on a cold streak. But I mean, I think you have, you know, I can't even say the divisions are, are, I mean, you got Atlanta up by a couple games on Philadelphia, Chicago on a couple games or a couple games up on St. Louis and Milwaukee. And then you got the Diamondbacks a couple games up on Colorado and the Dodgers who the Dodgers, I'm just still surprised they're not running away with that division. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what comes down the pike here, uh, with the, uh, you know, coming down to the, final few months of the season uh, I have but, one question yeah, for you real quick yeah. Matt. I'm sorry to interrupt out of these three teams in the National League which one do you think has the ha, has the best chance of winning the division out of the out of the out of the out of the three leaders right now who oh, has whoa, the best whoa. chance to keep it who do you uh, think? Cubs I, I would say the Cubs 
Yeah, yeah. Pro- I, I, I probably agree with you. I mean, yeah. Atlanta's really good, too. Yeah, I, I was Atlanta's I was actually, really yeah, I would say uh, Cubs, Braves, um, and then I would go Diamondbacks. So, but yeah, I mean, it, it'll be interesting. I mean, that's the good thing about the National League is there is still a lot to be decided. So, uh, we will see what happens uh, again as we go down the stretch here. Uh, Jake and I, when we come back, we're going to go back to the football. Uh, back back to the football. That was weird how I said that. Uh, back to football, and you're going to get our Super Bowl predictions after weeks and weeks of waiting. Stay with Jake and me, Matt, here in the Chiefs. Uh, what a good song, "American Idiot" by Green Day. That takes me back in more ways than one, Jake. And I'm still not going to give away why I'm playing these songs. Boy, I'm 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 right I'm right there with you, man. I'm getting really nostalgic on this show. I'm going to start <laughs> crying or something. I got to get my Kleenex going. But uh, but yeah, that I mean that brings me back to playing Nerf hoops in the uh, you know blasting the stereo, mm-hmm. burn a CD. You know, of course it was. I didn't get that music, um, you know, uh, <laughs> the right way. But, um, you know, playing Nerf hoops in the basement, cranking up the stereo. I always had American Idiot playing. But yeah, yeah, good good stuff there. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, Well, we're going to get into uh, Jake and I uh, gave you our uh, playoff predictions up through the uh, – up to the AFC and NFC Championship. Uh, for those of you who didn't listen – or didn't hear last week, uh, Jake, can you run through yours for you and then I'll, or for them and I'll run through mine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So first and foremost, I'll, I'll run through the AFC. So um, my wild card weekend, I have the three-seeded Chargers and the six-seeded Raiders with the upset. Um, the six, six-seeded Raiders will go, would go to New England um, for the divisional round to take on New England. Um, and uh, for the four or five, I got another upset with Houston taking down Jacksonville mm-hmm. and Houston moving on to Pittsburgh. Um, so in the divisional round, I have New England just destroying Oakland and then Pittsburgh winning a, you know, a big 12 like battle with Houston to, to lead us to an AFC championship with the New England Patriots and the Pittsburgh Steelers. What do you know? It's not really going to be a surprise. I don't yeah. think. Yeah, it's, I, I think I think that's what you know. We want something different, but really we don't. I don't think we do. I want to see that. <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, AFC for me, I had uh, wild card weekend uh, four and five seeds: Chargers and Texans. I have Chargers taking uh, the Texans pretty easily in that one, and then in the three six game, I have Jaguars and Chiefs. Chiefs upsetting the uh, the Jaguars. Uh, to go into Foxborough, uh, where they will again upset uh, another team in the New England Patriots. I think this is uh, we were talking last week. I'm not even a huge fan of the Chiefs. I just went with it, and you know, before you knew it, I had them in the AFC Championship game. <laughs> uh, Steelers Chargers. This this game, I, I I would love to see it. Uh, it. It's a game that took me a long time to pick. I don't know if my my Yinzer side came out in me. Uh, but I do have the Steelers uh, taking the Chargers out um, at home at Heinz Field to make it to the AFC Championship. Uh, so we have the Chiefs and Steelers in the AFC Championship. So what are your uh, what what's your uh, NFC, Jake? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh no, that's okay. That's okay. I gotta flip my uh, I gotta flip my <laughs> note cards here real quick. But yeah, my NFC is my uh, wild card uh, weekend for the NFC. I got the six seeded Saints headed to Atlanta. They will win that game. Uh, they'll go on to Minnesota uh, to take on the Vikings for a rematch of the Minneapolis Miracle. Um, and then in the 4-5, I have the defending champion Eagles at home against the Green Bay Packers. Uh, fly, Eagles, fly. I hate saying that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, but, um, they're they're, they're going to they're go on. They're going to they're gonna go to Los Angeles to take on the Rams. For my divisional round, I got... Um, I got I got payback, baby. I got revenge. I got the Saints beating the Minnesota Vikings uh, in, in a six-one upset. 
uh, for the Saints to go to the NFC Championship game. And then I have Philadelphia going to Los Angeles and taking care of business against the Rams. Uh, NFC Championship, New Orleans at Philadelphia. Mm. It'll be, and that's, that's, that's what a good I got. One. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, for myself, I have the uh, three six game Rams versus Falcons. I have the Rams taking that one. Uh, and then I have four or five game Eagles versus the Vikings, which this is one of those games that, again, took me a while to, to pick. But I do have Vikings uh, going into New Orleans. Uh, so I have Saints, Vikings, Packers, Rams uh, in the Saints, Vikings game. I don't have redemption. I don't think it's going to happen the same way as last year, because if it does, the Saints just need to curl up and maybe take a year <laughs> off. Uh, but I do have the Vikings going to the NFC Championship. And this this was another game I could not decide what I wanted uh, because I still feel if Aaron Rodgers goes down, Packers just don't have much. I mean, I I was when I was at Lambeau watching, even though they destroyed the Steelers, I, I just that was a or that was preseason. So don't get me started. Uh, but you know, I, I, I if he goes down, I don't even see them making the playoffs. It obviously, depends when he goes down, but. If he stays healthy, I do have the Packers going into the NFC Championship for an NFC North uh, Championship of the Vikings and Packers. Yeah, I've been think I've been thinking about you know our big reveals because uh, I mean this has been a month and a half yeah, that we've been yeah. on this, so I mean I've been thinking of our big reveals, and uh, you know if this really happens, imagine, imagine that that game. I mean, uh. um, in. In Lambo in December. I mean, you, you you just you just can't beat that. No, I mean that would be so exciting. I, I can't even this. imagine how much tickets would be. Oh my gosh, J- Jake, <laughs> you seriously need to. I'm gonna take. I, I think I you know talked about this a little bit, but well, actually, um, yeah, so, yeah. So uh, I I told you how much Lambo feel, how cool Lambo Field is. You you got to get to a game, even if it's preseason, to see the houses like. There are Jake. It looks like a Friday Night Lights. Like I saw people walking home with their seat covers to their homes, like within <laughs> walking distance. That is cool. You don't see that anywhere else, and it yeah. was a really cool opportunity. But anyways, uh, seeing that in December would be cool. So we, I got Vikings, Packers, and then Chiefs, Steelers. Um, Jake, it's time for our Super Bowl predictions. Would you like to go first, my friend, or would you like me to? Um. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you go first, man. Okay, let's, let's see what you got. All right, so I got in the NFC Vikings versus Packers. Uh, <laughs> I hope nobody from Green Bay is listening to this right now. Uh, even though I probably, I know they probably are, but I do think this is the year that the Vikings do it. I think they make the. I think they make the Super Bowl. I think Kirk Cousins. I know it, that's the big question mark. We've talked about it before. Uh, does he deserve the money that he got? Probably not. Uh, did he fill that hole that they desperately needed last year? I think so. Uh, you know, but at the same time, you can say, "Well, look what they did with their third string quarterback." And you're right. But their third string quarterback, uh, by the time they got to him, I believe by that point it was Case Keenum. Um, I-, I think that Kirk Cousins is going to be able to get the job done. I have in the NFC. I have the Vikings uh, making it to the Super Bowl uh, in the. AFC, the Chiefs, Steelers. Um, there's <laughs> this. This was a hard one because, like I said, when I got to this point, I didn't want to be that person to change it after I got there. Um, I didn't even like the Chiefs getting there, so I don't want people to say, "Oh, no, no, you just want the Steelers to get there." I think the Steelers. I think this is their year. Uh, with with pushing fan, fanhood aside, I think Jake, this is the year that the Steelers do it. Uh, they're going to lose Le'Veon Bell next year. Uh, they're they're gonna they only have a year you know a couple more years with Roethlisberger. Uh, I, I think this is a year that not only will they do it, but they have to do it this year. I I I agree. So are you picking are you picking the Steelers? Yes, I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, oh no, I'm sorry. So Vikings Steelers in the Super Bowl and the team that I am picking to win this year's Super Bowl. I should have had some sort of drum roll. We will have back to back first time Super Bowl champions. Wow. And I am picking the Minnesota Vikings to win this year's Super Bowl. 
Oh, just, my heart just bottomed out. I was <laughs> like, the, the Steelers getting all the way yes, there, yeah, you know, know. The, the fanfare, the Shaleev, you know, and they the drop bl- it to the Minnesota Vikings. I don't want that to happen. You know, we can't go down on the purple people eaters, but still, I mean, uh, I, I just, I, I got there and it's, Jake, it's hard. I mean, you, you know, it's hard to pick when your team gets there. The cheap seats is about being fans. Uh, but when I put when I put it down on paper, when I put uh, what I just really think is going to happen, that's that's what I think. Do I hope it happens? Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you, Matt. Honestly, I know I have the Vikings, but I mean, we we we've, we've talked for the last you know few weeks about how much we both like the Vikings. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, they they've built one heck of a team. I think they have the best roster in the league. Um, you know what they've what they've built. I don't think they get there just because I I just because you know for a few things, but. Um, but yeah, I mean that defense is top three in the NFL. That offense, uh, the, the wide receiver core, they got the tight end. They've got two running backs that can get the job done, mm-hmm. um, which is something that a lot of teams need. Um, which is what uh, you know, Le'Veon Bell doesn't understand. Um, yeah. I think he does. I think he does understand. He just doesn't care about winning a championship. Absolutely. And they've got the quarterback. So I agree. I I, I love the pick, Matt. Um, and uh, and yeah, I would I would I wouldn't mind seeing the Vikings win. Uh, I would I, I would like to see the Vikings win a Super Bowl, but not over the Steelers. Necessarily. Yeah, I but, agree. <laughs> but um, but but as for me, um, I, you know, I was thinking, I've been thinking about this, um, pretty hard for the last week. Uh, I you know, this year seems like it's the year of the inevitably inevitable. Uh, Eagles, a backup, a backup quarterback wins a Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Washington Capitals finally beat the Pittsburgh Penguins and win the Stanley Cup. The only thing that wasn't completely awry was the nba finals with the golden state warriors yeah winning winning the, no winning shocker the there no shocker there i want to say that this is finally the year the steelers beat the patriots uh you know they have to like you said we've talked about it off air lev's gone after the year um ab's 30 ben only probably has three years left um once they lose Le'Veon, it's going to be a one-dimensional offense they're going to just want to throw the ball all over the lot uh, you know, James Conner's been really nice mm-hmm. in preseason, but still, I mean... That run he had at Lambeau was awesome. Oh, beautiful, beautiful yeah. stuff. But uh, I, I just don't see it happening. And I, I think the New England Patriots will go to the Super Bowl again, um, and they, uh, I, I, I just don't see anybody beating them in Foxborough in January. Mm-hmm. Uh, New England uh, wins the AFC uh, championship over the Steelers in what is a very competitive game. It won't be a blowout like two years ago. Um, but uh, but yeah, so AFC champion New England Patriots, um, and then in the NFC, um, do I have a do I have a Super Bowl rematch? <laughs> um, mm. So uh, Philadelphia, Philadelphia, I think it's the second best roster in the league again. Um, defense is defense is there. Um, Carson Wentz by that time, this time of course will be the quarterback. Um, and they just they've built a great they've built a great team and Doug Peterson I don't care what anyone says you could give me him over any coach in the mm-hmm. NFL I, I think he's better than Belichick I think he's years better than Tomlin um, yeah but there's a man named Drew Brees in the NFL wants Brees versus Brady in the Super Bowl and it's going to happen. Uh, New Orleans Saints will go in to Lincoln Financial Field and beat. The New England, or the, the mm. Philadelphia. I have the, the Super Bowl. Super Bowl Fifty Three will be the New England Patriots versus the New Orleans Saints, uh, with Breeze versus Brady, the headline. Two of the best quarterbacks of this generation. Who will come out on top? And I hate to do it. But no. This is the last time ever. This will be the last time the decline starts in right after February 5th, 2019, or whatever the date is, the New England Patriots will win their sixth Super Bowl. Wow. And they will beat the New Orleans Saints by a final score of 38-34. to 34. Wow. Well, you even did the score. I didn't do that. But New England again. So there you have it. Jake is saying that Tom Brady is going to have a half dozen Super Bowls. Wow. Good, good, good pick. I like that. And, you know, that's... I like that our four finals, four final teams are all different. That shows we're either idiots or we really know what we're talking about. <laughs> and it's a better chance of one of us being right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I mean, we, we have, you know, like we have eight 
teams that could possibly make it. So even if it's one of them, I'll be happy with it. So, yeah. uh, well, well, there, there you go. There's leading up to it. There's our Super Bowl predictions. Uh, you have uh, Vikings and Steelers for me. Uh, Vikings taking it. You have New Orleans and New England with Jake with uh, New England taking it. And uh, I'm sure we'll both be 100% completely wrong. But we have it recorded just in case we are right, <laughs> which is always a good thing. So Jake and me are so excited about our final segment today. Uh, stay with us. We're not going to give it away. I will give you a clue, though. It's another stupid draft because that's what we like to do on Friday. But maybe it's not stupid. Stay with us and see. Jake, does hearing that computer sound <laughs> bring any memories back to you? This might actually be before your time, this one, but what does that bring back to you? I, oh, man, I remember hearing uh, I, w- I remember I was too young to fully get it, uh, but, uh, you know, I, I, it reminds me of the old, you know, hearing, hearing uh, you know, my, my older da-da, stepbrother. Da-da, da-da. Clank on the old da, da, punks of plastic. Da, da, da. You already know it. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, this is it. Jake and I, with football coming up, we have decided to do the best Madden year draft. And, I mean, this is going to be debated, Jake. I, I know we've talked about what are we going to do for the poll question this week. And I think it's just simple. Who's Madden 5 or better? But please comment. Did, did we leave one out? Are, are we idiots? What did we do? Um, we would love to hear back. Would love to hear from you. So Jake and I did an off uh, off air coin flip. Jake has won the honors. So Jake, with the first overall Madden NFL best year draft, what do you got? Well, I'm not deferring to the second half. I can tell you that. I'm jumping on. I'm receiving. I want that offense on the field. And, uh, you know, a little story behind my number one overall pick. It was my very first Madden uh, that I had. I remember that Christmas. Um, Mom got me uh, a PlayStation 2. And with it, I got one game, and it was Madden 04. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ironically enough, who was on the cover? I won't say his name. But, uh, man, was he a dog on that game. I oh. mean, come on. I mean, you, you rolled you rolled him out, and there was, there was just no stopping him. Uh, he had, you know, um, was it Peerless Price on the perimeter. Mm. They had Warwick Dunn and, uh, Warwick Warwick Dunn Dunn, and TJ yeah. Duckett. Like, oh, my gosh. And not only that, the gameplay on that was so fast. I, I mean, it was so fast. I mean, you could score 50 points a game, and that, I mean, that's what you play Madden for, mm-hmm. right? I mean, nobody wants to play a 10-3 game of Madden, you know, and and the soundtrack was fantastic. I'm yes. that Avenged Sevenfold Chapter 4 was on that. It was one of my favorite. One, well, Avenged Sevenfold is one of my favorite bands ever. But um, Well, that was yeah. the first year for the Playmaker, too. I remember, like, the, yeah. the Playmaker system. That, that Oh, my gosh, was that a good year? And, yeah. you, and you just knew when... I, you knew when someone was the Falcons, that was it. You just, yeah, it you just done. forfeited. That was, yeah. <laughs> done. but yeah, what a year! I mean, it, oh my gosh, that was just. I remember sitting in high school and and we would bring friends over. Like I would have friends over and we would have three, four TVs going at a time, playing this. And I, I just remember, you know, that was the first year they introduced uh, owners mode too, because I remember mm-hmm. that that was a big thing as well. But oh my god, oh, and then. Jake, do you remember too? I'm sorry, I, I'm like a little kid. Um, do you remember that was a year too where you like in the owners mode, like you adjusted, like y- your like cost of concessions and oh, it was awesome. Yes, and you it could relocate awesome. yeah. and you could re- oh, let's go play it. Okay, I'm sorry. 
All you right. Know what's funny is we I was actually just looking at like old like just looking at like lists and stuff and like I'm really debating on getting on Amazon and getting a PS2 and getting Madden 04. <laughs> I, I'm not kidding. I, I, uh, I'm, this I'm was kidding. fun. This this was fun to come up to to do this and everyone's out there like you're supposed to talk about sports not video games. But so your first overall pick is uh, Madden 2004. Uh, for all of you gamers out there, just so you know, the music in the background now is from Madden '94. Uh, that the hut, 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 hut in the background. So, uh, my number one overall pick, Jake, is another very disliked slash hated player among Steelers fans, especially Madden 2005 with Ray Lewis. Uh, that was. Um, the thing I remember the 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 big thing about that was I remember uh, the franchise mode was just awesome. I remember that was when it really picked up that year. And Jake, the number one thing that is still used today and is still a vocabulary word and should be in the Webster's dictionary is hit stick. Yeah, that was the year it was introduced. The hit stick, and I remember getting that game and thinking, "What is this?" And I used it. I was like, "Oh my gosh, that's what the hit stick is!" And every you hear it, you use the hit stick even when you're playing backyard football. So, Madden 2005 uh, with Ray Lewis on the cover is my next pick. Man, what a beautiful pick! I, Thank you know, you. it's Thank fantastic. You. I used to, man, when. I used to use I, I used to use the Steelers and like whenever uh, like whenever like I was playing with like Joey Porter especially uh, Joey Porter or Troy Palomo I used to mm-hmm. like I used to like almost break the controller when I was like using the hit stick it was fantastic oh fantastic. yeah yeah you would just force it forward so hard was... man and like like their helmets came off and stuff like yes. that yes oh that was so fun but wow. um, yeah yeah all right so oh. what what is your second uh, uh. pick. I'm like melting in my seat right now, but um, my 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 second pick is 03, uh, the mm-hmm. one with with Mar- with Marshall Falk on the cover. Um, I was a big Marshall Falk fan, and I really liked those Rams teams. You know mm-hmm. why not? I mean, it was like if you were a kid and you liked the offense and stuff like that, like you wa- liked watching teams score and celebrate. That team had so much swagger, and they were so good on the game. Yeah, uh, you know, with with Kurt Warner, Marshall Falk, Tory Holt, Isaac Bruce, they were so good and they were so much fun to use on the game i remember i used to go over to a buddy's house a neighbor's house almost every night and play that game i mean it was it was so much fun um and uh and yeah that's why i'm picking picking madden 03 uh you know just because the offensive gameplay was so fast and was mm. so much fun and mm. you know what i remember from that year was that was the inception of the mini camp and i wasted hours on that stupid mini camp Boy, yeah. oh my gosh those mini camp games i i mean i honestly that game, I probably played the mini camp as much as um, as much as <laughs> the actual <Yeah>. game. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So uh, that that's a great pick. That was honestly, Jake. That was my next pick. So you stole that from me, you jerk. <laughs> uh, well, this this next my next pick. I know for a fact that you don't have this one. And look at that. I have Madden running on a loop. And as I say, Madden 1995, the Madden 1995 begins again. Wow, that was... I did not time that at all, but that was like kismet. So, Jake, let me tell you why I picked Madden 95. I remember playing my brother in this all the time. And uh, I, if I won, he would always trick me with the wind blowing. And I, and I was too little to understand what to pick. And he would say, oh, you picked the one, and then I would pick it, and then he'd lie to me every single time. And then if I was like, are you lying to me? He's like, I don't know. And then I would pick it, and I was wrong every time. But I also loved the hitting after the plays. I, <laughs> you could always <laughs> – you would just be floating around, and you could hit people after every single play. That was the main thing you would do while playing this. And you just heard the <laughs> – and then you heard the man going, boom, boom. Oh, my gosh. that That takes me back to – a little kid and and Jake I'll be honest with you that was the year that I became a Madden fiend that was the year that I'm like I'm getting it every single year from here on out yeah yeah now this is this is this is cool because it, like you don't think like whenever you're playing it like all oh, those you know your parents are like oh those kids playing video games but I mean it's like you're try- like I mean you know you're thinking of like bonding time with your brother like and I'm thinking of like you know like you know, mom getting me, you know, Madden 04 on a PlayStation 2. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, it's 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 just cool stuff, man. I mean, it's, 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 I mean, it, 
I, I, it's really cool to hear these stories too. So yeah, um, yeah. I agree. But I, but I, but I've got, I've, I've, I've got one similar to that. It was one that I, that I. Oh my gosh, mom probably spent so much money renting this because we didn't, we didn't own it. Um, we rented it for the Nintendo sixty four. Was Madden ninety eight? Um, it was it was mm. nineteen ninety eight. Um, I know, I, I know. I actually just, I actually just thought of this one. Um, but um, yeah, sorry about that. I, I just, I just thought of this one. But um, no. but yeah, I mean, like you said, the hitting after the plays and stuff. It was a few years later, but the hitting after the plays, Madden on on the game. Like he said the most obvious things, like on <laughs> yes. like on commentary. Yes, it was like it was like here's an extra point. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, uh. and and that was the year that I really started loving my favorite football player of all time, Jerome Bettis. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. And you know, I used to run the crap out of him, and there none of the players had any face. It was awesome. Yes. Like they did, like the graphics were terrible, but it was so much fun. And, um, and yeah, I got 98 as my number three. All right, number three. So my number three, I'm going to go new. Uh, well, new were. I mean, I guess it's eight years old. But, Jake, this is honestly the only game I have ever played so much that the disc legit stopped working, uh, which was Madden 2010. Uh, that was a huge year. You had Larry Fitzgerald, Troy Polamalu. I, that game just I just enjoyed so I played so much of it. I mean, I remember the fight for the fumble where you had to tap over and over and over yeah. again. Uh, they had the new rating system um, where like it could change throughout the year. It could change the you know um, all that and um, they had the um, where the the clock would speed up so you could still make it like ten minutes or fifteen minutes, but it would like run faster as you played. Um, they just had so they added. I thought a lot of uh, a lot of really cool features to that year. Yeah, they got um, it. That was the year I feel like it got you know more realistic. Yeah, like that was a turning point, and um, you know they brought that in with the accelerated clock and all that. Um, but yeah, I mean franchise mode was fantastic on that. Um, the uh, I feel like an underrated game mode on that was the um, like the be a pro or the you know the the, the you know yes. be a pro or my career yes. or something like yeah. Like I know that I know that that wasn't the year that it was implemented, but it was so good la- that year. Maybe we'll get to that. Make your own decisions and oh, mm. um, you know <laughs> that you can make your own decisions and stuff like that. And the fight for the fumble was fantastic. Mm-hmm. I still need to. They, I still think they need to bring that back. But yeah, oh, I um, love that. Yeah. But yeah, um, my number four is going to surprise you, and I've been playing the crap out of it. It's this one, really. I haven't, I, I haven't I even played it yet. Love it, I love it. Um, you know, if you play it on, uh, you know, real quick, if you play it on simulation mode, like the regular, like the the default gameplay, mm-hmm. it's a little slow. Um, but if you play it on arcade, it's perfect. I mean, it's it's perfect, and you know, you, the cuts are so clean. Um, there's no, um, there's still some, there's still some gimmicky stuff because I got, a, I got a, a pretty much midnight release. Like I'm, I'm a nerd still, you know. Hey, but hey. um, uh, <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, I am. Um, but um, but yeah, I mean, it was. I mean, I really like the game. The Steelers are fantastic, which helps. I mean, they're definitely the best team on that game. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, but yeah, I, I like to play. I like the offense and stuff like that. I, I, it's, it's, it's great. The quarterbacks aren't in, they aren't crazy immobile. Um, it's, it, it's a really good game. It's definitely the best Madden I think since 2010. Yeah, yeah. So I have, um, and I've heard good, good great things because I know they kind of had a few uh, stinkers there. 17, 18, I heard weren't great, and I actually didn't get. I haven't really got to play them. Jake, you, you have kids, and it's hard to do that, but um. You know, Madden, uh, one for me, I think, had the strangest player on the front, and I think you know already what one I'm picking, um, is Madden 2012 with Peyton Hillis. How he still got on there, I don't know. Um, but the reason I like that so much is I love... Jake, that was the year, do you remember? I don't know, maybe they still do it. That was the auction-style free agency. I love that. I, I really like that. Um I liked how you could trade draft picks. Um, that was a big thing for me. Uh, I, I really liked just th- the gameplay, but I the um, mini games uh, I played those so much. We played those probably more than the actual game. Uh, but it, it was it was really it was just a good game. I mean, there's really not much to say about it. I just thought it was a really uh, well well put together game. Yeah, and um, I, 
Do you re- just real quick? Do you remember that year when Peyton Hillis just went off? Oh yeah, yeah. Like Fourteen hundred rushing yards. For yep. The, for the Browns, like I mean, it, it, yeah, that was a good game. I enjoy, I remember I really enjoyed that game, and I also liked. Uh, I, I also I don't know why I liked Peyton Hillis so much. I really liked that Arkansas team because he was the fullback there, and McFadden and Felix Jones split time at running back. Like that was a lot. I love those Arkansas teams, mm-hmm. so I like Peyton Hillis, but. Um, but yeah, um, oh, I thought I thought it was I thought it was great. So, um, but my final pick is Madden 25, the 25 year um, Annie, if you will. Mm-hmm. Um, Madden 25 uh, with Barry Sanders on the cover. Uh, I I like that because you could bring back old players. Um, you know, you could like they had um, you know they they you had the ability to bring back the old players, and they were like dogs. You know, like Barry Sanders was impossible to to beat. They had. Um, they had uh, oh Derek Brooks um, mm-hmm. that you you could bring back him in gameplay you know in in certain gameplays and stuff like that. Madden twenty five was fantastic, um, and uh, and yeah that would probably be um, that would definitely be my my. Final there you game. go. So you have oh four oh three. Uh, you had ninety nine or was it ninety eight? Ninety eight. Ninety eight. Okay, that's what I thought. I, but I put ninety nine for some reason. Uh, Nineteen and two thousand, uh, or then then Madden twenty five. I'm going to round out my top five with, I gave you a clue earlier. Jake, it was 2008 that the superstar mode was added. Um, I loved that year. That was, uh, one again, I mean, obviously one of my favorite years. That was also the year that NCAA football, you could uh, make a player in there and take them straight through. And, and I had NCAA football 08, so maybe that's why I like this so much. But this is so nerdy, Jake. I, I know it is, but one of my favorite features of that was the trophy room. Do you remember that? Yeah. I yeah. loved it. I, I, yeah. I, it was such a big deal. And then I remember you could do the fantasy challenge. Um, it was just a really uh, – it was a really well put together year. Again, I mean, there's – Matt, EA Sports knows what they're doing with this game. It's a reason – there's a reason it's the only NFL game you can get. But uh, there are just really cool little – uh, features in that game that I, I just absolutely loved. Uh, so that 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 rounds out my top five. So I have 2005, uh, 95, 10, 12, 08. You have 04, 03, 98, 19, and 25. Jake, all I know is I don't think there was a wrong pick there. Now, I'm sure many of you out there maybe will think differently. So our poll question this week is going to be uh, – which five are better, Matt's or Jake's? I ha- and when we come back from the break again, I'll give those to you. But uh, Jake, again, I don't feel like I, th- I feel like you just can't go wrong with all ten of those. There's, we're both winners. We're both winners because we we played them. Yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> it was, it was great stuff. That was that, oh man, that was I'm so just, much fun. Yeah, so I'm much gonna fun. Gonna go play Madden after this. Yeah, I, I'm yeah. gonna I'm <laughs> gonna I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna go home and play. So, uh, stay with Jake and uh, Matt. We're, when we come back, we'll close out the show. We'll give you the full question, and we'll be out this week. Uh, okay, one last time, we're going to get American Idiot by Green Day here. And, Jake, I think our listeners know now why we picked these songs coming in and out of each segment because they were all uh, part of soundtracks of Madden. So uh, this last segment, we gave our top five, uh, Jake and me. And, and, Jake, you know, a lot of, th- you know, we, we do these drafts. A lot of it is from the heart. You know, I gave my 95 for a reason you gave your 98 maybe people don't put those in their top fives but we do uh because uh you know it's it's a game that we remember and i want to say i did forget to say i can't believe this jake honorable mention to madden 92 when the ambulance would come out and hit the players (laughs) (laughs) Uh, i can't believe we forgot i forget i can't believe we forgot that one i will (laughs) i just Oh, I just love that. Um, if you've never, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go on YouTube. There's actually a scene too uh, from 2001 when a cart uh, was it was a runaway cart during a NFL game, and someone put the 92 backup or the background music in it, um, knocking people over. Oh, that was a good, that was good. I don't know why they never did it again, uh, but 
So, Jake, uh, as always, thank you for this week. Do you have any closing thoughts for us? <laughs> I'm just cracking up because <laughs> I remember that video so well. <laughs> um, but, no, I mean, you're going to see some, um, you know, of course, you know, this weekend and even a little bit last night, you're going to see, uh, you know, starters this week. Um, you know, so, I mean, uh, it's it's going to be a lot of fun to watch. And um, I also want to um, wish a good luck to everybody because this is a big fantasy draft week. Mm. Good luck in your fantasy drafts. I hope all of you win a lot of money and less. You're in one of my five leagues, so um, <laughs> good good luck good luck to all of you. Yes, yeah. So yeah, big week. I know I have mine coming up. Uh, big things, yeah. Like you said, NFL we're winding down preseason. Uh, major leagues we're getting into the final stretch. Uh, Jake and I, we we hope you had a great time today. We always do. We hope you had fun listening to today's show, especially with the Madden draft. Make sure you go on our Facebook page to vote. Uh, which team is better, then please comment if you thought we left one out. I'm sure we left one of yours out. And give us a story why. Why why we, why we you think that's a top one that we left out. We would love to hear. Uh, make sure you come back on Monday with Jonathan. Um, Jonathan and, oh my gosh, I just drew a humongous. Christian, right? Oh my gosh, Christian, yeah. I'm so sorry. Wow, brain fart. Uh, Christian <laughs> and Jonathan uh, Wednesday with Keith and Max and then next Friday with Matt and Jake. Uh, Again, thank you for uh, joining us up here in the Cheap Seats. We'll see you next time. Uh, Have a great weekend.